Hello there and welcome to the clinic. So today I have some challenging ocular tests for you to try out. So first up, let's start with something called the Frisbee test. A test for your stereopsis. That's your 3D vision or depth perception. Just to confirm, this is the frisbee test. It consists of three perspex plates, four squares, four squares, and on one of the squares there will be a hollowed out circle for you to locate. We'll start with the thickest plate here, with a nice clear background. So looking at the plate there, can you locate the hollowed circle and point to it please. Okay. And now And try this one, please. Okay, let's move on to the middle thickness plate. Same concept. Just locate the hollowed circle and point to it, please. Move it about there. To the thinnest plate and the trickiest. Okay. Do you see the circle there? And what about there? And just there, please. Okay, that's fine. All right, so let's move on from the Frisbee Stereopsis test. Let's do a quick check of your vision. So just cover the left eye like so. Do not place any pressure on the globe. Okay. Giving it your best effort. I want you to try and read the smallest print here for me, please. Okay, cover the other eye. Let's see if you can read the smallest print on the chart there. Okay. Let's move on to what we call an ocular glare test. We have a wheel here and there are Ten digits, and next to each digit is a shape. All right, your job is to tell me what shape you see next to each digit, starting at number one. I'm going to try and get all the way to ten. All right, so I'll place this here for you to eliminate any glare. So starting at one, tell me the shape you see next to each number please. We have a cross, triangle, excellent. 
and the square at three. And what do you see at four? Four indeed is a circle. And now for five. See if you can work your way all the way around the circle to shape 10. Do you see shape 10? A bit closer. Right, okay. Let's have a look what we have next. Yes, let's move on to another stereopsis test oh yes it's the stereopsis test with the titmus fly Didmus fly I'll keep a hold of this because all the answers are inside this test you need to wear 3D glasses just pop on the 3D glasses for me please let's begin okay looking at the image there I just want you to grab the fly's wings for me please Grab the wings. Okay. Just down to the bottom section here. There's five animals here. Three rows, five animals per row. Which animal looks 3D? On row A, please. Say it or touch it. And now for row B. And now for the bottom row. Okay, now we're moving on to the word circles, the word circles there. We're going to start at number one, work our way along. Each diamond has four circles. I want you to touch or say which circle looks 3D on diamond one, please. And now two. Work your way across the middle. Four, five, and six. And can you do seven, eight, and nine? How is seven, eight, and nine there? Okay. Just take the three D glasses off and pop them to the side. I want you to take a look at the image, the fixation stick here, of the baby koala. As you're looking at the baby, he's indeed wearing glasses. I would like you to tell me whether he's wearing a hyperopic or myopic prescription, please. Okay, I'll bring it up nice and close image of the baby koala there the spectacles spectacles okay hyperopic or a myopic prescription well the answer is neither he is wearing a planar prescription zero powered lenses so he didn't need spectacles but um he started crying, so mum brought him a pair of planar spectacles. Right, I have another vision test. We've got to get our way all the way down to the bottom. All right, it's the contrast sensitivity test. Just say what you say, letter-wise, on the rows, please.
good just continue okay try the second to last row now and let's see if you can tackle the bottom row okay that's a very good attempt at the contrast sensitivity test all right finally we have the uh, last stereopsis test this is the TNR stereopsis test. Again, we need to wear some special glasses. They're in here. We need to wear the red green glasses for this examination. Okay, I'm going to give them a little clean here with the lens cloth. place the red green glasses on for you now okay let's just ensure they're central looking to this side to this side let's just adjust them a little bit okay good all right let me remove the answer sheet okay we have a series of pages. I'm going to ask you some questions about each page. Okay, so page one. What image do you see there? Okay, and how many butterflies do you see on the page? circles can you see on the page there how many circles okay I want you to point to the largest circle this one I'm sorry that's incorrect don't worry let's move on okay so this is um, Finding and matching. A series of shapes here. Like a circle. It's a diamond upside down triangle and the square. Your job is to match each shape to this page. Alright. Let's point to where it is. Let's start with the cross and the circle. find the diamond now the upside down triangle okay, let's see if you can locate the square okay let's move on Okay, this is Pac-Man. We'll describe it as a cake with a piece missing. I'm going to show you some more cake with a piece missing. Your job is to tell me whether the piece is missing. This way, this way, 
this way. Oh damn. It gets progressively harder. Three pages of this. Okay, and for the final page, and then I'll let you go. awfully done. Never mind. I have to get you back in the clinic next time for refraction and ocular health check. In fact, I'm going to do that within the next few days. So I'll make your way to the front desk and I'm going to book you in for further assessment.